It was a chilling Sunday evening in October 1812 when Anthony Jackson, a rugged farmer of 45 years, and a young Martin Turner, another farmer aged 15, found themselves in a bone-chilling situation. They were outside inspecting their cattle, which peacefully grazed on desolate moors of Horara Park. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the darkness draped the moors, a shiver ran down Turner's spine. His voice trembled as he uttered, Look, Anthony, what a quantity of beast! But Jackson, seasoned by life in the countryside, was quick to correct him. Beast? Lord bless us, they are not beast. They are men. That very moment their eyes beheld an astonishing sight. Out of the inky shadows emerged a ghostly apparition. It was a phantom army of soldiers clad in eerie white military uniform. Then, like a well-drilled unit, they commenced a silent march towards the crest of the hill. But the strangeness did not end there. As soon as the first phantom battalion had ascended the hill, another group emerged. Together they descended the opposite side of the hill, vanishing into the abyss. At that very instant, a cloud of smoke billowed forth and shrouded the desolate plain. Shaken to the cause, the two witnesses fled for home with all the haste their trembling legs could muster. The memories of that unearthly encounter haunted them, etched into their minds with sinister permanence. Afterwards, they spoke of it with palpable fear and a conviction that they were privy to something beyond the realm of the living.